8 50 on this Sunday morning. The Des, Moines, the Des Moines Art Center currently has an exhibit celebrating 75 years of Iowa art. The exhibit featuring historical and local artists and artwork this upcoming week is your last chance to check it out this morning. We're joined by senior curator with the Des Moines Art Center, Laura Burkhalter. Laura, thanks for being here Thank this you. morning. We Thank appreciate you. it. So let's just start it off. 75 years of Iowa art. What, what's the purpose of this exhibit? Um, so this year is the Art Center's 75th anniversary. And while we show international contemporary art, Iowa-based artists has always been part of who we are. We've had an Iowa art show for every year that the Art Center has been around. And I've been around the Art Center for 20 years and I've worked on that show since 1999, so it's important to me. Um, we also collect a lot of that work in our mm -hmm. collection. So again, our collection is global contemporary art, but also a lot of Iowa-based artists. Mm -hmm. um, last time I counted, it was actually around 350 objects in the collection. Um, this show isn't all of that, that would take uh, the whole museum. <laughs> so this show is a curated selection of about 125 works from the museum's collection, some loans and some guest artists sort of rounding that out. So happens annually, I guess, Every exhibit uh, is important, but yeah. I'm assuming you're you're a little uh, you know. I'm biased to the Iowa. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So I mean, when you're when you're looking at who you're going to show, um, who you're going to highlight uh, from from our great state here, I mean, what's that process look like? So most of our exhibitions, we work sometimes three to four years out, sometimes closer to one to two years out. For Iowa artists, usually it's closer to one year. So that means um, some some years we've done a call for entry, but usually it's myself or another curator. We do a lot of work going to studios. We meet artists. We try to keep the tabs on what's going on in the state. And so we sort of have this idea of artists who we're interested in showing. And then we the studio visit with that person, reach out to that person. So we usually know a couple years in advance. This show is a little bit different because it was sort of looking back at present and future. So it wasn't based on a single artist or maybe a small group. This is a huge group. But next year, it'll maybe be a single artist again. Okay, very cool. I'm not going to say what it is next year. But. Oh, we won't get the... <laughs> No scoop Sorry about here. to have breaking no news scoop. here. Um, what's your favorite piece? We just saw some video of the, of the exhibit there. What's your favorite piece if you had to pick one? I, don't know. I mean, that's that's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a piece that's from um, it's from the 1930s. It's by Russell Coles, who was part of the Coles family that has their name around lots of things in mm -hmm. Des Moines, um, and it's. Uh, so painted a sort of depression era and it's of uh, like a circus sideshow and it's a sort of a snake charmer lady and a clown and sort of this view of a of a circus in the 30s and I really like that work. And you also mentioned there, there's some there's an artist coming in today yes. as well. So part of this show we wanted people to have a chance to meet the artists that live mm -hmm. in their community um, and so we commissioned Farad Erdem who is a architecture professor at Iowa State University. He does these, he calls them soundings, and he builds his own instruments to capture elements of the weather. So he's doing four soundings that actually capture the wind. So today it should be pretty dramatic. We have 16 people who hold these instruments. They stand on the roof of the, the green roof of the Art Center, and then visitors can walk amongst the performers and hear these instruments play the wind. So that's at 1.30 today. He's also gonna do it again on in the evening on May 5th. So um, just like the Art Center, always free, just show up outside and just, yeah, have to walk around, hear the wind make these sounds, meet a local artist, uh, meet me if you want. Um, and yeah. it should be a fun afternoon. You, you already answered my next question. Of, <laughs> we got the information up there too. So free to attend. So if, if, you, uh, if you're out and about, uh, go to uh, the Des Moines Art Center. Always sure. free. All right. Well, hey, Laura, thank you for being here. We'll thank show you that you. information uh, one more time, but we really appreciate you being here this morning. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back after the break.